Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we've got a video that is primarily focused on moose and as you guys know I recently put out a video hunting moose where we basically spun a wheel to see what animal we would end up getting and it landed on moose and the goal was to try and get some moose trophies in multiplayer. Well, you guys have gave a ton of feedback on the video and a lot of you actually really enjoyed it. But you also had a lot of awesome ideas and like little changes that we could make to the series. So I figured we would talk about those a little bit first. And we've also got some elk in front of us. So we're going to try and take down one of these guys because there actually is a pretty decent four in there. Oh, that's an even more decent four right there. 362 to 434. That actually has a chance at diamond, I think. That actually could be a diamond four. I know that these can be a thing. I swear, if this is my first diamond four. Uh, but anyway, one of the big things that we decided is that every single Monday we are going to spin for a brand new animal. And instead of just, uh, just going for that animal in that video, we are going to continue going for that animal for the entire week until the next Monday and then we'll end up rolling for another animal. But the goal is going to be just to see how many diamonds and rares of that species we can get throughout the week. We're going to spend all of our live streams on whatever species it lands on. And then every week we'll change to a new one. And I think that's going to be a really cool way to get some cool trophies in our lodge while also making sure we switch up the content with different animals. Uh, we will have a couple videos though that are uh, on different animals that we didn't roll just to kind of keep the content fresh. But that's what we're going to try and do. Uh, we're just going to spin for an animal every Monday and spend the week trying to get some cool trophies of that species. But let's uh, go ahead and try to get this guy down. I'm guessing he's probably going to score 360s, but on the off chance that he does make diamond, we want to make sure we get a good shot. So not going to be doing any frontal shots. We realize that 303 is not great for that the other day. So going to be smart with this. But I do think this guy has a chance at diamond. He definitely has a chance. And there we go. A perfect shot on him. And that's a good one too, actually. What are you? You are another decent four. You know, that one actually does have a chance also. It goes over 380 on that estimate, so... It's got a small chance, but I do believe that's a rack that scores like 340s. So I don't think it'll make it, but just in case, get it down also. So here is the first one. This is the one that actually has a pretty decent chance of making diamond. And looking at this rack, I don't think it'll make it. I think this is the 360s rack, but still, that is a monster Roosevelt elk. A very beautiful bull. And yeah, 369.70. That's a solid one, though. That is a very good start to the day. And we did double lung it, but that is one of the biggest level fours I've killed as of recent. That is beautiful. I wonder what would have made this guy score diamond. I'm guessing just a little more time length probably, but man, that is a beauty. I like that. Well, we didn't get vitals on that elk, so yeah, I guess he didn't die. Or he's, he's going to die, but unfortunately we're not going to get full score on him, which is a bit unfortunate. Got the rest of these coming back in, but unfortunately we screwed up that other one. Let's just hope it wasn't diamond. I doubt it was, but you never know. And survey says 343. So yeah, definitely not a diamond. Still a good bull though. Very solid elk. I do like the way this rack looks. I'd love to get a rare with this rack. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know how we hit stomach on the second shot, but... I guess we uh, double stomach shot it. Well, now that we have got those two guys down and gave you guys a bit of an overview of the brand new series that we're going to be doing, let's go ahead and jump into some of the clips that we've had from the recent live streams. And I believe I also have a couple that were not on stream that were uh, from off stream. So let's go ahead and take a look at all those. Just based off of those brow tines, he's going to be close to diamond. He's not going to score diamond probably, but maybe 260s. That guy could definitely hit 260. And I don't know a ton about the racks for Moose, so for all I know, maybe he can make it, but I don't think so. But he should at least be a big gold. I think that should be good. 
Yeah, he's losing health finally. Nice. So let's hope that this guy is pretty big. I think he's going to fall short, but probably going to be big 260s, I'm guessing. I don't even know. I guess we'll find out. All right, let's see. What will this big male score? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> He's 0.40 below diamond. 0.40 below. Wow. What a troll. I mean, it's not a troll because it was a level 4, but still. That was so close, man. So close. 590.04 kgs. Man. It was actually almost 274.60. It was 274.59. That's another massive moose right there. That guy's probably going to be 250s or 260s. He looks smaller than that other level 4, but... On the off chance that he does end up making it, let's try to get him down. We're finding some massive moose today. Just big moose left and right. There he is. I think that's good. I think we made that shot. Yeah, he's going down. That's a big moose. Like, once again, that guy's got a chance. Those palms are huge. Wow, this is actually the... S oh my gosh, this is the same rack as the last one. This could be diamond. Wait, no it's not. Wait, what? Is this the smaller version of that last one? That looked bigger at first. I think this is a smaller version of the same rack that we got on that last one. Because it scores like 20 points lower almost. Like 15 points lower. But it looks very similar. I guess it's just slightly smaller? Maybe. I mean, it's still a good moose though. <laughs> Look at that level 4. <laughs> a level 4 with a 47 to 76 estimate. <laughs> I had heard that people could find the ones where both antlers were the tiny one, but I've never actually seen one in game myself. I've only had the fours that have one tiny antler. That guy's got two and you can barely even see them from this distance. You know, this might not only be a tiny level four, but it might be the smallest black tail I've ever killed. I swear, if the smallest black tail I've ever killed is a level four, then <laughs> oh man kind of cool to be honest though never did I ever think that my smallest black tail would be a level 4 but I think it's about to be 6210 bronze wow what a giant I'd say that uh, takes the cake right there that is a monster level 4 blacktail deer. Hello there. I have not seen one of you in forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have been trying to find myself another level 3 rabbit for so long. Oh my gosh. Anything else? Nope, I don't think so. I have been looking for one of these for so long. Because I need to replace a, a gold rabbit that I have in a multi-mount. Need to replace it with this little guy right here. That's awesome. Diamond white-tailed jackrabbit. Let's go. That's so awesome. And it's a big one too. 6.60. Well, I finally have another diamond rabbit to toss into a uh, mount with our diamond fox. Because the first diamond fox that I killed, it's currently in a multi-mount with like a 5.80 gold rabbit. We need this to toss into that mount, so that's super awesome. I'm out here looking for moose in multiplayer, and we come across a rabbit instead. What are the odds of that? That's super awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen one of these in so long. Oh my gosh. I have not seen a level 5 moose in a year at this point. It's been like a year since I've seen a level 5 moose. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
I don't know if this will make it or if he'll be a troll. Because it's been so long since I've seen one, but... Please let this be a diamond. I only have the 303 that I can take him with, so... I guess we're gonna go for 303 hard shot. I guess it's time for a 303 hard shot. I think we got this, though. I could also go for a neck shot, but that's kind of risky. I'd rather go for the heart. I want to get down as low as we can so we have, like, an upward angle to kind of shoot at. See if we can get this guy. Can't believe it. You know he's eating? We got him. Heart shot him. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've seen a massive moose like that. I can't believe it. I don't know if this guy's gonna be a diamond or if he's gonna troll. It's been so long since I've killed a big one, I don't even know which racks make it after the changes. I guess we'll find out soon. That's a giant though. I think he's gonna make it, but hard to say. I guess we'll find out. Is he a diamond? It's a diamond. 277.40. Oh man, it's been a while since I've got a giant moose like this. That's awesome. That's so awesome. And I get a lot of requests for trying to find a diamond moose. So... That's awesome. That's really awesome that we just got that. <laughs> That's a uh, not the shot we took, but <gasps> my gosh, that is that is the most inaccurate thing I've seen. <laughs> For the very first time in almost a year at this point, we finally get to put a moose in the lodge, and I honestly don't know where we could even put it. Um, I'm thinking maybe we could possibly remove one of these Gemsbok from here and put it somewhere else, but. I really don't know if I want to because it's kind of nice having all three of our max score Gemsbok and right now there's a bug in the lodge I noticed where this one right here is actually on the old scoring system but it's showing on the new scoring system so uh, hopefully that gets fixed I didn't even realize this was a bug until recent when I was looking through a bunch of my trophies and realized that all my old uh, one, 1 to 1000 scoring system ones were showing on the new scoring system and their scores were like completely off for some of them but this is our old one and then this is our newer one that we got with this guy. But I don't know if I want to move any of them or if I want to move something in here. But we definitely need to make room for this moose and in fact we'll probably swap out this water buffalo because this is from the time period where water buffalo were making it incredibly easily and I don't really care too much for one of those so we'll put our moose right there. That's a good looking moose. I gotta say, I'm happy that we finally got a diamond moose after almost a year of not seeing any. It's good to get a little bit of variety on the channel also. That is always nice. But this right here is what I mean by these like bugged ones are not showing the correct uh, score. This was one that I got on the old system. This was a 999 scoring Roosevelt elk on the, uh, the old scoring system. And with this bug, it's showing as a 416, which isn't even the correct score. This guy was like a 369, I believe, uh, back when that was the diamond rack. And I don't know, it's kind of strange, but hopefully they fix this soon because I miss having my uh, 1000s and my 999s and stuff like that. And as for the diamond rabbit, we are going to finally get to replace this uh, light brown male in this mount that is just a 5.8 gold. We can finally take this down and get him replaced. Uh, let's see what date this is. So, 11 19 of 2020. So, we got to find that in the uh, trophy manager. And it should be there it is. So, let's go ahead and dismantle that and create a new Fox's Lunch multi mount with our diamond fox along with our new diamond whitetail jackrabbit. It's nice to finally get that replaced with an actual diamond, so let's get them in a cool pose. I think we will do probably that one. I like that. I think that looks pretty good, so we'll just leave that guy 
right there and then across from it we got our turkeys and this is something I wanted to real quickly point out that I never noticed before this is the Rio Grande turkey right here if you guys look really closely you can see that their feathers actually have like a greenish uh, glow to it I forgot what this is called when it's got that uh, like almost holographic look but the Merriam turkey don't really have that but the Rio Grandes do I guess there's just more and more things that we didn't notice about these Rio Grande turkeys and I definitely think they're the better of the two turkeys so that's pretty awesome just figured I'd real quickly show that off but we're gonna go ahead and end the video there if you guys are brand new to the channel be sure to subscribe click the like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video also be sure to comment down below with what you guys are excited for with this brand new series where we spin for a random animal every Monday and then try to find some rares and diamonds throughout the week. Uh, with that all being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!